that is almost a week to the end of the SIM card re-registration exercise, but some Ghanaians are yet to register their SIM cards due to varying challenges. City News visit to the Dansuman Vodafone head office and other offices saw a number of customers trying to register their cards. Some customers who spoke to City News expressed varying concerns. But Mr. Mebanaman to my yen, there, me, you should be Melcoim Tien. Now, my friend, they be once more. Where are from for some of your stations in the bin? Some of your state, big country, town. A binny hole. A binny hole, until you feel all along from some. Now, my mamma, Banner, the mamma. You have a airbay, and you won't consider old age for one. You have to consider them. When I was at the dance man here, I did it. But now I'm at my village. So they have to consider the villages. Otherwise, we we'll stop using the weather phone. Uh, I couldn't register my SIM earlier on because uh, I've been, I mean, load up with quakes at work and then, at workplace and then uh, at church as well. So I couldn't get a chance to register. A lot of people have not been able to get their Ghana card. Uh, I think I was watching on the television yesterday a long queue at, uh, I mean, Airwalk, and then people are still in the queue. If they have been given a great spirit to extend the month, I think it would have been better for all Ghanaians to register. But not if if that period is not being given, I am not sure most of the Ghanaians will be able to register their SIM. And then one unfortunate thing is that these Ghana card registrations, uh, those who are registering, they need to, I mean, create the centers in all these created regions so that people will be able to get access to it anytime in a region. But here lies the case. Mizole uh, Accra, that people move from Tamale Ho and all of these neighborhood, I mean, uh, towns to come to Accra. When it happens, so uh, I don't believe all Ghanaians should be able to register the Yasin before the end of the period that they have given. Also, speaking to City News, some registration agents called for an extension of the deadline of the SIM card re-registration exercise. There are, there are a lot of people who don't even know that we are even registering. Because um, I quite remember this week, a, a lady came from Oduman in Sakina, that is Ablikuma. She's like, oh, sir, what are we doing here? I was like, SIM registration. Uh, and I asked her that, ah, so all this while she has no idea. Then she said, oh no. So I think the, the advert and the news has to go out more. But even it's just left with a week or less. I remember April, May. You come here in the whole day, you register about 10, 15 people. So before then, it was, the system was very fast. But now it's very slow. So we are even doing offline. And after we think, the online is not going. I was a chance, but about three months time, my son, Abia, will be answer to me. I can't even know how it was. Network phone, me, 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 to me, my dream idea. And you're possible, sir. Customers will draw one because of second account. It's much, almost seems, ma'am. We'll be doing the business. So, which I'm a bear and it's better than I say. On the moment, with three months. No, my son, so sad. I will be there watching the Ghana card, no more there. Registration. The exercise, which began on 1st October 2021, was originally scheduled to end on March 31, 2022, but was extended by the sector minister to 31st July 2022 due to the high percentage of Ghanaians yet to obtain their Ghana card at the time. However, the Minister for Communications and Digitalization, Esla Usu Ekufo, has warned that the deadline for the registration of SIM cards in Ghana will not be extended for a second time. The SIM card registration exercise is one of the consumer-centered initiatives which has the key objective of creating a safe and secure environment for you to be able to use your mobile SIM-activated devices with no fear whatsoever of any cyber attack. And this is key to the country's digitalization process as we increase the use of digital technology in all aspects of our daily lives. Most people access their internet 
through their mobile devices. We must make sure that they do so safely. We must make it difficult for the criminals who hack our systems and defraud us through multiple online channels to operate. And this SIM registration exercise is one of the steps the government is taking in that regard. Essentially, this stresses the point that this registration exercise will enable the establishment of a subscriber database with integrity to keep consumers safe from scams and fraud. It is the, therefore the responsibility of all of us who own SIM-enabled devices to take part in this registration exercise. Over 12 million Ghanaians have linked their Ghana cards to their SIM cards. And this shows that a lot of us understand the need for this exercise, especially to sanitize the telecommunications environment. I therefore take this opportunity to urge all who have not registered or are yet to register their SIM cards to do so. The deadline of 31st July is a few days away. It will not be extended. 